Heigenbot development team and I wanted to make another video here to share with you guys. Uh, this time I want to talk about search engines and search operators and search footprints. These are things that marketers should know, especially anybody that's involved in the SEO business, um, anybody that's involved in any type of online marketing whatsoever should understand how uh, Google specifically works with their searches and search footprints. The application that you see here in front of you is uh, PygonBot, which is a scraper that scrapes google.com for various results. The methodology that I'm going to show you on understanding uh, search footprints uh, with your search queries can be done manually. It can be done with other Google scrapers that exist out there in the marketplace. But I am using this one. I am associated with this specific software application. And again, I don't want to make this video about promoting this application, but this is the application that is easily available to me to show you uh, what I want to show you. So a lot of scrapers out there you can use all pretty much have the same functions. You enter in a keyword and you hit the button to scrape. Now what this is doing is it's simulating an actual search that a regular person may make on google.com in a browser. So for example in this in this instance I have searched the term SEO companies. You can see the results that come back. These results do change. You know Google's algorithm changes rankings of web websites for various keywords on minute by minute basis. So every time that you go to a search engine and search a, a key term uh, it is possible possible that you are uh, going to get different results and your results can vary by area that you live in geographic area it can also vary by the type of websites that you visit it may look a little bit different than what yours will but that's not going to disrupt what I'm going to show you so one question that I get asked a lot in my consultations uh, with people are they they have a piece of software for example now whether it's a software or another scraper out there and they just enter in their keyword and and they see that they get different results than what they see in their browser. Most scrapers out there operate on keyword plus search operators, also known as footprints. And what these footprints do is they create rules for your search query. These rules, uh, Google has been kind enough to allow these type of search operators to help people get more uh, accurate results for what they're looking for. So in this instance, let's say we're looking for uh, contact forms for websites to do contact form marketing. You see this application here in front of you is already programmed with a default footprint in it. So when this scrape here goes to Google to scrape it's going to take this keyword right here along with this footprint that's here now what does this do to your search results let's uh, copy this and see so I'm gonna come to the browser here and I have the key term already entered and I'm going to just paste in the footprint after the key keyword and now we can see how these search operators change this footprint and the keyword uh, bring up these results and what these results are showing you what this footprint has told Google to do is to look for the results in google.com for SEO companies that have a page that have this specific attributes to it and as you can see these results have the word contact in it now if you're looking for SEO companies specifically or actually no matter what you're searching uh, what what business type or, or niche that you're searching out the results that come back are going to be the results that show up in Google for that search term and then also contain the attributes of the footprint that you've entered in this case a contact form footprint now as you go further back into the search results uh, you'll notice that you'll start finding some results that may not actually be what we're looking to get information on maybe we're building a call list for a call center or something that has a product or a service to offer to uh, marketing agencies SEO companies etc but at the same time I want to make sure that my information that I'm acquiring isn't uh, isn't tainted so there's a few things that you few techniques that you can do to actually um, manipulate your query so you get more accurate results you see here for example we have a real estate agent listed in search results for SEO companies now obviously this is is not what we're going after so let's say maybe I 
want to make sure that I am just getting information on SEO companies. I can add and modify my search footprint um, with additional rules that can reclassify that. So what, as you can see here, I'm typing in the term uh, entitle SEO. So what I'm telling Google is to provide me websites that show up for the search results for SEO companies that have a footprint page or a page that contains the word your email subject message etc on it and now I'm also telling it to look into the meta title of the search results and only give me results that have in the meta title the word SEO let's see how these results change Wow now we can see that these results changed a whole lot and let's go back further and further the results seem to stay pretty consistent no matter how far back that we go definitely have a part of a footprint that is going to have the right type of results by adding that requirement where uh, we're getting results based on the meta title of the websites we could perhaps change the footprint a little bit more so I know I'm on to something with the with the term SEO so I want to maybe see if I can take this out and see what type of search results I get for the the search footprint uh, where I'm telling Google to look for websites to show up for SEO and now I'm also telling it to look for uh, URL structures in the in that uh, in those search results that contain the word contact plus the word SEO let's see what Google can give to me here well as you can see Google threw a, a captcha here because it you know Google has gotten a lot uh, a lot more strict over the years when it comes to searching you know to try to stop automation software like Pygamot but you can see just by these search results we're definitely onto something. All of these results pretty much see, no matter how far I go back, SEO companies. And that, and as we are getting back even further, you can see that the results are maintaining the consistency of websites that we are looking for. So I wanna go back to the first page here and let's take out the word SEO because I just want to double check here with my little example how different the search results are now let's say I wanted to get a little bit more geographic here and let's say I wanted to search for example SEO companies in let's see if I can modify the in URL structure to exploit what we know about these other country Google extensions so I took out the your name footprint I took out the subject line footprint and I'm gonna leave the rest of the footprint uh, as my last uh, search query this footprint right here is still okay for the simple fact to find contact forms we're still looking for URLs that have the word contact in it plus the word SEO let's see here as you can see the results here are coming back for ones that have .co .uk. you can continue to play with your footprints and you can change actually change the results that you're getting by using different footprints for your search queries and this is especially important if you are scraping Google for search results and you want specific type results because you're gonna get results for websites with one footprint and the same keyword that are different than search results that you use with the same keyword in a different footprint now some of the sites may be the same in those search results but I guarantee there are going to be different websites that show up for different search keywords and search footprints compared to others. Let me modify this a little bit. Let's say we're going to minimize our contact form footprint a little bit because I want to see what type of results I get with using a shortened version of the page footprint. And I'm still getting awesome results for what I'm trying to target. Now let's say, let's look for, let's do something a little bit different here with this, with this next query that I'm going to show to you because let's say I have a brand new service or business I just started up and I want to contact hosting companies 
uh, to sell that service to because I know that what I have is going to be the next great big thing for hosting companies. So let's say I'm using my contact form submitter and uh, I need a good contact list here of hosting companies. So I'm just going to, and there's lots of different keywords that you can use. You could use hosting companies, hosting companies in Canada. You can be hosting offers. There's lots of different keywords. So you, I'm, you guys, you guys are getting the point by what I'm showing you here. But now I want to find the ones that I'm going to be able to contact um, that I'm going to be able to contact on their website contact page because that's how I do my marketing this didn't really show up anything that I'm looking for let's go back further in the search results definitely has brought up some hosting companies but not necessarily what I'm looking for so I think in this instance I'm going to want to use a footprint that contains the title hosting and I'm going to want to search this again so now all the search results that I'm pulling up here have in their meta title the word hosting and I do wonder if this is gonna stay consistent it's pretty consistent so hmm maybe if I modify my footprint a little bit and take out some of these require other requirements and maybe if I change the in title URL well first thing let me see what type of results I get with this footprint so these are pretty good results very similar to the ones that we had although I see that some of these results aren't for what I'm looking for so I'm actually going to change my keyword simply because this keyword is may not be the most um, accurate keyword that I'm that I'm looking for so I'm going to add web hosting companies as the search query term and you can see now this time it seemed to be pulling up uh, websites that are pretty accurate for what I'm looking for yeah I would say these are pretty accurate and let's change this a uh, little bit here let's look for companies that let's uh, do a very similar one that we did for SEO we'll add the term hosting uh, behind it yeah now this is looking pretty pretty promising as well but you know there's a lot of these WordPress results that I'm seeing in several of these footprints so as I want to show you in this example we want to minus anyone any site that has WordPress in it now none of the search results will have the word WordPress in it but let me try another footprint that may actually bring me a little bit more results here now as you can see I'm, I'm deleting even the part of the page footprint requirements for uh, looking for pages that may have uh, contact form elements on them um, and even though I'm looking for contact pages in this instance of, of the footprint it's, it's still okay and the reason why that is still okay um, is because we still have part of the, our footprint as in URL contact so the search query is still telling Google to look for websites to have in that URL structure results with the word contact in it the results should come out to be more than any of the other footprints that we've utilized so far this is simply because there's not as many requirements or filters that we're having in place for the Google search yeah as you can see this this result brings up a lot of pages here so there you go everything you need to know about searching Google with footprint operators and keywords in less than 15 minutes if you're interested uh, you can get actually a free download of uh, the definitive keyword and footprint list by clicking that uh, info box up in the top right corner and you'll be able to go there and, and download the definitive keyword in footprint list uh, you can also search on Google if you want to learn more footprints and find various search footprint operators uh, there's quite a few of them uh, that will help enhance your Google searches anyways I hope that you guys find this video helpful and useful for your marketing every day until the next time, peace out.